Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Well, our lightning round Thursday coverage begins tonight with the Dana Flanagan show in Ewing last regular season game for the Highland Lady Cougars. Hard to believe the fall season is almost over. Scoreless pitchers duel at this point and Knox County center fielder Madison Yoakum. Yoakum, if you got him, is going to keep it that way with the full extension catch and stretch. She had a game winning RBI this week. Have a week, Madison Yoakum. Dana Flanagan, meanwhile, for Highland doing Dana Flanagan type things. It was a strikeout fest and her team would finally break through. Carly Cyphers right here with a single and then her base stealing speed and a Knox County miscue would allow her to round the bases from second, come home to score an unearned run to make it one to nothing Highland at that point. Although nearly a fatal hesitation right there as well. Flanagan just kept dealing from that point forward with a lead. She is lethal and she would be every bit of that tonight, striking out 15 batters in the offing. Later, it's Caitlin Hickerson driving a ball to the fence. She'd end up on second base. And again, it's Carly Cyphers with the only RBI of the night. Just a nice little flare out in the right field to get it done behind Dana Flanagan's shutout and 15 strikeouts. That was enough as Highland ends the regular season with a victory by the final count of two to nothing. Elsewhere on the scoreboard, Centralia clinches a Clarence Cannon Conference title with a seven nothing win in the Flower City. South Shelby with a big time win over Clark County. Rochelle Chin going three for four on the day. Monroe City wins on senior night over Marion County 15 to nothing. Bowling Green takes an outright emo conference title tonight with a victory over North Callaway. It was Hannibal too much for Rockbridge and Louisiana felling Brookfield behind a big day from Janelle Lindsay. We have got a little volleyball for you tonight. Quincy High School hosting O'Fallon. Game number one was really good for the Blue Devils in this one. They started off strong as Allison Sparrow drops the early hammer here. And then the Blue Devils would go to work in a game one that saw them win 25 to 19. Have a little Sierra Erke with the southpaw swinging right there. Then it's Mackenzie Bailey right here serving up the ace for her team. And you know you're pretty good when your setter is going to the net and blocking much bigger middle and outside hitters. And that's what exactly what Malia Blakemore did right here. I tell you what, big win, as I said, in game number one for Quincy High School, but the momentum was soon lost. The Blues, the Blue Devils, I should say, lose their second and third games, 22-25, 16-25 as well. Elsewhere, it was Hannibal staying undefeated in the NCMC, blowing out Rockbridge tonight. Also, West Prairie, another big-time win. Peyton Bowman with nine kills in that one. West Hancock, too much for South Fulton. Brown County loses in three to North Green tonight. Pittsfield, another win for them. Kennedy Merriman, big game today, playing defense and service serving as well as uh, Pittsfield gets the win there as well. And West Central filled by Illini West. Two games to none. Nice little note to pass along. KHQA has learned that Jenna Bryan, the star of the Illini West front line, has verbally committed to Western Illinois University. So a great get for the Leathernecks there moving forward. Some girls golf for you tonight. How about Pittsfield's Lauren Hawley right here? This is a chip. Should have been sensational seven. Wouldn't drop for her as uh, the Pittsfield Sockies take second place in the team side of things. How about Q&D's Haley Hall right here on hole number three of the day for her getting up and down from the hill. This was a tough par save for her, but she handled it very, very well, not only with the chipper, but with the flat stick as well, draining that par putt for her. 41 on the day for medalist honors for Miss Haw. Quincy High School's Crystal Bergtorf in that same pairing fired a 46 on the day to lead Quincy High School to a team title as the Blue Devils would fire a 211 on the day. But the story of the day, Haley Haw, really good, really good short game. Back-to-back -back pars right here. Actually, she'd run together three straight in the middle of a round to get that 41 and medalist honors. Also in boys golf on the day, Quincy High School too much for Burlington as Mason Melton is your medalist for the second straight meet. He fires a 77. The Blue Devils are actually in regional play on Tuesday as well. The regular season has flown by us. Soccer tonight, Boonville too much for Hannibal as Boonville wins 3-2. to two. That score is reversed. Boonville was your winner in that match. Beardstown stays red hot, beating up on Plains 5 to nothing. That score is not reversed. And Quincy High School opening up the Gateway Classic with a win over St. James Academy of Kansas. Jaden Smith with a golden goal in that one. Well, the whole Caitlin Robbins narrative with Liberty has made for easy conversation about the bright future of girls cross country in our area. But do not give the fellas short shrift. Pittsfield sophomore Eli Tenike has emerged as a consistent contender this fall for titles, making the Macomb Invite Championship earlier this week his latest trophy grab. 
difference is just a difference in training. Last year, uh, as a freshman, I just started running two weeks before the season started, and uh, this year I've been training all year round, so that's really helped a lot. And <laughs> I can't say there wasn't a lot of divine help in this one. I was praying the whole time. My ultimate goal is to break 16 um, and qualify for state, and <laughs> I was the second off of my goal today, but uh, I guess next race I'll just have to come back and see if I can push a little harder in the last mile. I don't know. I mean, I'm still kind of figure out, figuring out what I want to do with this. Uh, I'd like to run in college if I could, but, you know, that's always a way. So this year is just trying to qualify for state. Uh, just, I don't know, trying to see what I can do this season. Terrific young man. We'll have more news for you coming up after this.